<clears throat> yes, I represent the last generation of students to be taught by Richard Orton. I studied there in the early 90s. Um, I very much knew that I wanted to study electronic music and uh, I went to York and I loved every minute of it. Um, and Richard uh, was an inspiration. And in 2012, I was invited to do a performance with the ensemble I work with, Dirty Electronics. Uh, I was invited to take part in a Pioneer of Electronic Music Festival. And I could pick a Pioneer. And I, I was in um, Helsinki at the time with Andrew Bateley, in fact, and we were sat in a pub drinking a very expensive pint of beer. <laughs> and um, I said, who am I going to pick? And there's something, you know, lots of beer scra beard scratching. And, uh, anyway, I went back to England. You look different. And um, a few months later, emailed Andrew and said, yes, I picked you and uh, Richard Orton and Hugh Davis. And we worked on a performance piece. This is before Richard had died. Um, and the concert was uh, in March 2013. So obviously when you know, the sad news came through, it, it was, it was uh, quite a jolt. And tonight we're going to recreate this performance again that we performed in London uh, in 2000, March 2013. And the piece was, uh, it's a little bit of a mashup. Uh, this instrument, the clicker, is a Hugh Davis found instrument. Very nice sound. Um, this instrument features in Hugh Davis's book, Sounds Heard. And we combine this instrument with uh, a live realization of the piece of this. We're going to hear it in its authentic version straight after this. Uh, Wei Wei Jin uh, did a transcription of the score and she's going to be conducting the piece. So it takes the piece Kiss uh, and adds an instrument by Hugh Davis in the mix. We're using, in true dirty electronics fashion, uh, instruments that you might have found, well not instruments per se, but processing techniques you would have found in the 1960s studio. So Jim Fry's here has built his own tape delay. We have a traditional ring modulator and some spring reverb as well. So in an attempt to recreate that authentic um, 1960s studio sound. Thank you very much.